Hey everybody, Jason Smith, Master Sommelier with MGM Resorts. I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day and you know what that means. It's the start of summer, so I wanted to share some rosé buying tips and also serving tips for you. My tip number one, keep an eye on the vintage. Rosé 99.9% .9 of the time is made to be consumed young, so think just a couple years old. Here we are in 2020, look for a 2018 or a 2019. You know, there's some of those that can age, but they are very, very rare, uh, although they can be spectacular. So when the wine is gonna be younger, it's gonna be those really fruit forward, fresh flavors, floral notes. Wow, that was a lot of Fs. Uh, but that's what we're generally looking for when we're drinking rosé. Tip number two, uh, pay attention to the region that the wine is actually from. So French regions like Tavelle, Provence, Cote de Provence, Burgundy, the Loire Valley is also great. These are gonna be this lighter, more pale colored, uh, dry styles of rosé. Uh, then if you have something from the United States, for instance, generally speaking, those are gonna be a little bit fuller in flavor. They'll have that more weight on your palate tend to be a little bit fruitier in style. Both can be excellent, but just very different styles, and it'll tell you, uh, depending on where it's from, the style that you'll end up with in the bottle. Number three, probably the question I get most often related to rosé, how do you know if it's sweet or not? Just looking at the bottle, it doesn't tell you a ton. So I would utilize the opportunities that we have around us. If you're in a great retail store, take advantage of those people around you. Ask those workers there uh, what the wine is like. Or also, if you're in a grocery shop, uh, utilize that tool that you have right there in your pocket. Look things up. Uh, see if you notice any sweetness that's absolutely there. Another tool, uh, take a look at alcohol percentage. If the alcohol is lower, think 10%. Oftentimes, that's gonna have some sweetness to it. If it's above 12.5, uh, that can tend to be a drier style. Just a couple different clues that you can use there. Number four, don't overthink your food and wine pairings here. Rosé is fantastic because it works with just about everything. It's actually one of those wines that works outstanding with vegetables. You're trying to pair red peppers and asparagus and all these different uh, fruit foods on your table that can be great with rosé. So it's almost like champagne. It works with just about everything or absolutely just on its own. Number five, my last one, very important. If you have the bad luck of choosing that rosé off the shelf that you don't particularly like, what do you do? You don't force that thing down. You make a rosé spritzer. They can be delicious. Uh, so take half wine, half a sparkling water of some sort, and add some ice to that, put that in your glass, maybe add a little bit of fruit, have fun with it, uh, can really mask some of those bad flavors that you might get in your rosé and make it something that's turned into a positive. Well, thanks very much. I hope you have a wonderful summer and we can't wait to welcome you back into our property soon.